It's hazy days like this that gets Hong Kong motorists feeling pretty self-conscious. But it doesn't have to be like that. All the way from Germany and parked right on Kai Tak runway is this car right here. It's a BMW Hydrogen 7 and it could be the future of motoring. There are only a hundred or so available, but I was fortunate enough to take the Munich-made car for a spin on a specially designed course laid out on the old airstrip. I discovered that with just one press of a button, the vehicle switches from petrol to running with virtually zero emissions. Apparently the spectators weren't too impressed with my overly cautious driving and sent in BMW driver Leo to show me how it was done. Yeah, How fast can it go? Fast? Yeah, what's the top speed? Uh, 230. 230, okay. <laughs> Using hydrogen instead of petrol means the engine produces just 260 brake horsepower compared to 438 in its petrol only 760i cousin. But there's still plenty in the tank. Once I got my breath back, Beatrix Frisch from the BMW Group in Beijing was able to tell me more about this innovative project. BMW came to Hong Kong to introduce the Hydrogen 7 project, which is in terms of BMW performance or perspective, the future, a near future, a near possible future to drive a car on close to zero emissions but being as well able to drive it still in areas where there's no hydrogen available, liquefied hydrogen available on a petrol road. First, check it in. Yeah, and take it as you have it. As in most cities, liquid hydrogen fuel is not yet available in Hong Kong. Distribution is still a big hurdle to cross, as is a climate-friendly method of manufacturing it. It takes a lot of energy to separate the H from the O2, it seems. But today, filling up the car wasn't too tricky at all. Whilst in Hong Kong, fire engines were never far away, and quite obviously the use of a highly flammable fuel still has some people on edge. But not the mayor of Guangzhou or the governor of Guangdong, though. Last month, they both snapped at the chance to drive one. If there is any problem, the tank doesn't open. Then the car says just no. It's not possible. Once again, safety first. So your average hydrogen car, how long can it run on one tank? Uh, for 200 kilometers. And how much would that cost in Germany? In Germany it would be 8 euro per kilogram actually, but only if it is uh, now in an industrialized status. It is not on a commercialized status, which is going into commercial use and economies of scale are not here yet. I see, so uh, you foresee the price going down? Yes, definitely. The large drum that maintains the fuel's temperature at minus 253 Celsius takes up a considerable chunk of the boot. The insulation is so efficient that if a snowball was placed inside it, it would take 13 years for it to melt completely. In Hong Kong and Asia, there's nowhere that you can refuel your car at the moment if you run a hydrogen. Unfortunately not. So, so far, the f refueling networks are not developed yet, even not, uh, not only in Asia, it is actually all over the world, it just starts over. In Germany, for example, we have five refueling stations. In California, there are two, but here in Asia, there is none. They're given to opinion leaders, to people in the governments, to VIPs. Um, Who owns one? Anyone famous? Um, yes, we have some people, so um, perhaps here more out of the media life, Jay Leno is driving one, uh, Governor Schwarzenegger in California is driving one, Al Gore has been driving to the Oscars with a Hydrogen 7. Recently Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt were asking for some. So obviously BMW really sees it as the, as the future. Hydrogen is the way forward. Actually it's not only BMW, it's the whole automotive industry is seeing that hydrogen itself is the future fuel. You live in China, we're in Hong Kong today. 
obviously air pollution is a, is a big deal. Yes. Um, do you think that this will really help solve one of the issues that we face every day? Definitely. Because if you drive the BMW hydrogen 7 or a future hydrogen, hydrogen, liquefied hydrogen car, you are on more or less zero emissions. So this is definitely what we all want mm. to reduce the, 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 um, the, the greenhouse gases and the emissions then. Mm. We're still a long way from seeing cars like the Hydrogen 7 on the streets, but if we are serious about lowering our carbon footprint, there's no doubting its significance. For the South China Morning Post, this is James Moore. Leo just said it's the best horse which is actually in the BMW stable, talking here in the race city. <laughs>